I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. On Sunday, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer celebrated the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act, calling it, quote, one of the defining feats of the 21st century and claiming that Democrats have, quote, changed the world. The top Senate Democrat offered effusive praise for the legislation. The landmark $430 billion climate, tax, and health care bill passed on a party-line vote after months of negotiations that ended in a marathon series of overnight debates and amendment votes. If the bill passes the House and is signed into law by President Biden, who has signaled his support, it would authorize roughly $370 billion for energy and climate programs, which would be the biggest clean energy investment by the federal government in American history. I brought it in yesterday morning, but I didn't want to jinx it and wear it. And so, uh, but I wear it on good luck days, and I had a feeling I'd be wearing it. Here it is. Thank you. All right. Um, so, as you know, it's been a long, tough, and winding road. At last, we've arrived, and we are elated. Every member of my caucus is elated about what happened because we've really, we've changed the world. <laughs> in a way that you rarely get an opportunity to do that. With the Inflation Reduction Act, this Senate Democratic majority has achieved what countless others uh, have come to Washington promising to do but ultimately failed to deliver. And I am really confident that the Inflation Reduction Act will endure as one of the defining feats of the 21st century. All And we did it without a single vote to spare. To do something with 50 votes is rough. To do small things with 50 votes is rough. To, to pass such a major piece of legislation with only 50 votes, an intransigent Republican minority, uh, a caucus running from Bernie Sanders to Joe Manchin, wow. Um, and I give so, such credit to my caucus. They are amazing. They pulled together. Throughout these last few days, every senator I said, please don't offer this amendment, don't vote on this because it could pull apart the bill even though you might need it. Just about every single person cooperated. And it's amazing. I just, I, I'm just so, and you could see how happy everybody was if you were in the gallery uh, when the bill passed. Our bill reduces inflation, lowers costs, creates millions of manufacturing jobs, enhances our energy security, and is the boldest climate package in U.S. history. The Senate has now passed the most significant bill to fight the climate crisis ever, and it's going to make a difference to my grandkids. The world will be a better place for my grandchildren because of what we did today, and that makes me feel very, very good, very, very good. This sort of like the creation of the EPA and the plate passage of the Clean Air Act half a century ago. The legislation marks a turning point in our nation's commitment to protect our planet. And the Senate has finally also taken on Big Pharma and will, after decades of trying, be able to negotiate lower prescription drug prices. The Inflation Reduction Act is going to lower prescription drug costs for seniors, and that's been a long, ever since I got here, in the Senate, in 1999, we've been trying to do this, and finally we have in a major way. And don't forget, we capped the price of insulin for seniors on Medicare at $35 a month. This was added to the bill yesterday, and it's a big, big win for millions of seniors. According to CMS, one in every three Medicare beneficiaries has diabetes. 3.3 million Medicare beneficiaries use one or more of the common forms of insulin. In 2017, Republicans passed legislation that added $2 trillion to the deficit using reconciliation. This Senate, the Democratic-led Senate, has passed a bill that does all of the above and still reduces the deficit by hundreds of billions of dollars. And Joe Manchin was alert to this problem early and left his real imprint on this bill with deficit reduction, which I think all of my caucus uh, happily followed. And I just want to, again, thank the leadership, hard work, and persistence of all of my colleagues, their teamwork, their spirit of teamwork, their knowledge that we had to pull together to get something done is 
awesome to me, not awesome in the way the kids use the word, but in the biblical sense. You sort of tremble before the, in awe before the angels of God. It's just amazing. Um, the American people, as you know, overwhelmingly support our legislation. It's not hard to understand why Americans feel this way. We're delivering on the things they care about. We don't have to make things up. When the Republicans did their big tax bill in 2017, they said it was going to reduce your taxes to the average middle class person, but it was aimed at the rich. This is we are talking about exactly what this bill does. We don't have to make it up because we are aiming directly at the American people and what they want. 